delicious. How's it going everyone? Here's a guide video designed to show you effective use of werewolf in ESO. So many people have published their opinions on vampire versus werewolf, and everyone seems to say that werewolf is useless. Well, I'm here to change your mind. The first thing to note is that I will approach this guide with a PvP mindset. In PvE, I think werewolf is only really effective for boss fights or single target fights. In PvP though, I think it's absolutely perfect. So really quickly, we'll run through the werewolf abilities, then I'll give you a general analysis of werewolf overall, I'll give you some tips and tricks, and in the background you'll see some gameplay examples. First, real quick, I'll take about one minute of this video to run through the werewolf abilities and their associated morphs. So the basic werewolf ultimate will increase your stamina, armor, and sprinting speed when you're in werewolf form. Once you transform, you will fear everyone around you, and your light attacks in werewolf form will add a dot. Your pack leader morph will increase the duration of your allies' werewolf transformation time by two seconds every time they activate a heavy attack, and this also affects you. The Berserker Morph will add 40% to the dot damage. Pounce is your gap closer. The first morph will add AoE damage, and the second morph will increase your duration in Werewolf. This next skill is your heal. The first morph will increase your weapon damage, and the second morph will add a heal over time effect. Next up is your fear. The first morph will leave nearby enemies off balance whenever you kill someone who is currently feared, and the next morph will Increase the weapon damage of your nearby allies whenever you cast Fear. Piercing Howl is your knockdown. The first morph will add a synergy which will increase your allies' basic attacks. And the second morph will increase this skill's damage by 30% whenever used on a feared target. And finally we have Infectious Claws which is your dot. The first morph will decrease your enemy's healing by 30% and the second morph will give, a, give you a hot equivalent to 50% of the damage dealt by this ability. So here's why I was saying the werewolf is perfect for PvP. So you've got a fear, which is arguably the most useful hard CC in the game since you can't block it. You've got a knockdown, which is another very useful CC. You've got two dots, one of them's just your basic attack, the other is an active attack which can decrease your enemy's healing or heal you. You've got a gap closer, which can be used to get in your enemy's face, and then you've got a very strong heal. All these things are necessary for successful PvP builds, and werewolf has every single one of them. So here are a few things most people don't realize about Werewolf. When you're in Werewolf form, your armor sets will still be triggered. You can see in this clip, my White Strikes Heavy Armor set gives me a damage shield when I get low on HP, and the Purple Beam from my Malabeth set is stealing health from the enemies and returning it to me. Another sweet thing about Werewolf in ESO is that other Werewolf transformations in your area will give you a boost to your duration of Werewolf. This means if you run around with a couple werewolf friends, you guys will be able to beat the shit out of your opponents for a longer time. You're also able to drop out of werewolf form at any time just by pressing the ultimate button again. This is useful because sometimes you'll find yourself in situations where werewolf just simply isn't working and you need to get back into human form. Also keep in mind, you're still able to block, dodge roll, bash, and CC break within werewolf. These are the things I see most werewolves not doing, and that ends up in them not surviving as much as they could. Buffs used before transforming into werewolf still remain in effect until their timer runs out. So for example, sorcerers can use lightning form, dragonites can use spiky armor, dragon blood, etc. Also, if you're a Dragonite, the Battle Roar passive heals your HP, MP, and Stamina based on the cost of your ultimate. Since Werewolf is a very expensive ultimate, you get a nice fat heal to all your resources when transforming. I use Werewolf on a Stamina-based tank build. This means I have about 20,000 Stamina, but no armor sets which increase my damage. So while I have a decent amount of stamina, my build could pump significantly higher DPS if I used the right armor sets. But it doesn't matter, I still do crazy damage in Werewolf. That being said, if you're a stamina based DPS build, go get Werewolf. The damage is going to be crazy. If you're a magicka based build, you won't have as much DPS in Werewolf, but your heal will be stronger. That means you'll survive easier. 
You'll still do decent damage, but I guarantee you'll have fun doing it, regardless of if you're a stamina or magicka build. And don't get discouraged if you feel like you die too easily in Werewolf. Even though playing as a werewolf is very similar to playing as a human, a lot of people forget everything they know about combat in ESO when they transform into a hairy beast, and this gets them killed easily. Just remember, block, CC break, dodge roll, heavy attack to regen, heal, everything that you do normally, do that in werewolf. Don't just go nuts and start attacking without defending yourself. The only thing that'll stop you from beating the shit out of people is your familiarity with playing as a werewolf. So all you need to do is practice. Just get comfortable with werewolf combat and you'll see just how strong it is.